hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley at ts tech talks video in today's video guys i'm going to show you how to restore your backed up conversation or chats on your signal application so um before i dive into this i'm going to show you a few things that i already did on the previous video before going into restoring restoration mode and also i'm going to show you my signal app first of all let me show you my signal app now this is my signal app I just reinstalled this one as a new one so I'm um, going to re reinstall, reinstall it with the previous chat conversation I already backed up but not this exact one now um, there is a way signal backup works so if you click on the settings area click on chat click on backup now you can notice um, I've never created a backup right here but then if I click on create a backup is actually going to start creating the backup and now if i go over to my file area i'll be able to confirm that a backup was created so i'm going to go over to the signal folder just scroll down it's not difficult to locate click on the signal click on backup there you go this is the current backup that i just backed up now that is good so now um what if you lost your phone and you want to restore your backup so if you want to do this all you need to do is to turn off this section and once you turn off this section it actually deletes all your backup now let me show you guys the signal section again what i just showed you right now you notice that the backup we have right here has been deleted that is because you turn off your backup immediately you turn off your backup it deletes the backup that has been saved on your own device now let's assume that you lost your phone you lost every access to this particular phone you have a new phone and you want to re reinstall your backup now i already showed you guys a way to back up your signal um backup chart on on your on, um on your um drop boss and i also showed you guys how to save it on your email so right now if i open the drop boss now you can notice where i have that particular application called the signal um it say couldn't open signal that blah 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 dot backup this is actually the backup that i backed up and then i saved it on my dropbox so now i'm going to show you guys how to re restore this particular search um this particular chat conversation into your um into your signal app so all i need to do right now i have to go to the settings and then um app area and now i'm going to try to locate signal click on that then click on your storage clear the data i have to clear this data so that it wouldn't be saving anything and now uninstall and the next place i need to go to is to go to that folder again click on the folder the files and then i have to back out all the way and make sure that i have this signal folder deleted i want everything deleted because i'm trying to reinstall this i'm trying to restore the backup as if i lost the phone so i probably bought a new phone so if you bought a new phone the first thing you do is you have to install your signal application right and then the next thing you do is to go over to your dropbox click on your dropbox now when you click this section make sure that you click on this option that says um click on this option that says make available offline now select yes so for some reason you might not see this particular app offline even after it has downloaded it because you don't know where it's been located so all you need to do right now is to click on this three dotted icon now click on export now this export will actually give you an option to select a folder where you want to export this stuff so now i want to export it to the device so i'm going to click on device so now all i need to do right now is to make sure that you have every extension selected so i'm going to click on save so make sure you have you pay attention to where is saving that particular backup so if you click on export and save to device you can notice it actually saving on my downloads and you can actually go ahead and select different folder if you want to use a different folder for some reason now currently it's going to save on my downloads and this is what i have on my downloads now all you need to do after you have we might have um done that now the signal is already open so before we open the signal let's confirm if we downloaded our backup successfully so go to your downloads area and now click on the download scroll right down to the signal now this is signal backup i think it's two i did that multiple so i'm going to delete one 
now I've deleted one. I think this one is okay because they have the same date and it's the same megabyte. So um, the next thing you do right now is to enter your the same um, phone number for your Signal application. Just go ahead and install your Signal application normally. It's still going to give you the same um, option to install them normally. So click on continue, allow, allow, allow all right next make sure you have your country selected and now put in your phone number so um just put the same phone number that you have i'm going to end up i'm going to add it up like this and then next click ok now if you remember we actually deleted our we actually went ahead to delete our signal folder right now this particular folder is not going to be created created for us automatically we have to create that manually go ahead and enter your code if you have any code that you want to enter but if not leave that blank but i have a code so i've just entered that and next click on next now this is how it will display so if you go to this area now you are not going to notice the folder display for you and the reason is because you can notice um this is the signal application this is the backup and it's blank but usually you don't see anything right here now to um for us to see something there all you need to do is to click on your settings but for some case you won't see any option there but um if you didn't see any option right there make sure you click on this to turn it on don't worry about this just click on um i have written it down and then enable now you notice that it has been the folder has been created right usually this folder will not be created until you choose this option so if for some if for your case you're having this issue go ahead and have that um created so once you have this option created this folder created all you need to do right now is to go over to the download section come to the downloads click on that now go ahead and locate the signal folder for the backup this is actually the backup make sure you have the name memorized now all you need to do is to go ahead and move this option move it to that particular location where you have signal backup now um go ahead and locate the signal by scrolling down to the signal section click signal click on the backup now move it here so um it has completed right now let's go right back and and also clear uninstall signal once more we are going to uninstall signal again go ahead and search for signal click on storage clear data okay now back out and then once you clear data i think i don't think it will ask you but for some reason you might still uninstall but let's go ahead and open it back I don't think it's necessary for you to uninstall so click on the signal application and now click on continue click on continue allow 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 and now you notice it now says restore backup if you notice the previous time we tried to set this up it didn't give us an option for backup the reason why it didn't give us an option was because there was nothing on this particular folder right here but now it has something on this folder you notice the um the file size is 21.08 right now notice this one it says file size 21.0 um 21 21.1 right i think this is accurate and this is the exact time the backup was made was created which is tuesday um 8 and if you check this date is actually corresponding so all you need to do is go ahead and click um click on create backup um, and click on restore backup go ahead and tap that now it asks you for the passphrase now if you remember on my previous video i showed you guys how to store up your passphrase which i restored right here so all i need to do is to go ahead and copy this passphrase which i already um saved up initially if you guys want to learn more about how to get this passphrase or how to store up this thing in backing up watch my video on how to create a backup for your signal so if you already um, entered the code just click on restore now, if this code are correct, it's going to definitely restore all your images and everything you have on that particular chart. Now, all you need to do is to enter your corresponding phone number, which is um, prepared for that account. So go ahead and enter your mobile number right now. And then click next. So confirm that your number is correct. 
and wait for it to load up it's going to load up and then display the code because if you have if you don't have the same device you might have to enter this manually now go ahead and enter your pin if you want to if not you can go ahead and click on skip to skip that section wait for it all right now click on next and there you go this is our chart and the image might not load immediately it might take a while to load but if not it will display every image and every conversation you had so far and everything on your previous chart are going to display like that so that is all how to restore your signal application by restoring it from an online app or an online backup server so thank you guys for watching this video please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more video if this video helped you, please smash the like button, subscribe and share with your friends. See you on my next video. Peace.